that was a long night. Ugh, it's time for my goofy silly green bean Mr. Clean Riz Mr. Beast Poopy Pants work. Don't you just love going 100 miles per hour? Um, how to park my red McLaren F1. Don't worry, the YouTube video I saw said to leave it in water. Let me just put this red BMW made by Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi truck inside so I can load it easily. Don't mind me kissing the big brick brown wall. Time to get these suspicious Among Us Robloxian Rap Battle Pacific Rim 2 supply boxes. For those wondering, this is the only Pro Messiah King Baldwin way to do this task. There is more boxes than food on Robloxian Casio's plate. Yo editor speed this up please. Alright goofy Vladimir Putin descendants we are on the very cement built road. Time to unload these big colorful blocks. Editor cut the video until I'm home please. Good night noobs, see you later cause I have a not green bean Mr. Clean who is pretty mean but ain't that lean night shift as well. Okay goody gang I am at the very big carbon monoxide and dioxide pollution producer. Ain't no way a car not clipped through me. Wait, my brakes aren't working. Oh no, my car's brakes and accelerator is broken. Someone please help. No, I'm cooked chat I'm cooked. After 5 minutes, Joe had gone 50 feet below sea level. Luckily, he could stay underwater for 42 minutes total, so he could just swim back up, right? Yo, where the heck am I? Should I swim back up or explore? Wait a sec. Is that a portal? Let me go see real quick. Oh no. Joe was sucked into the portal. He had no idea where he was, but all he knew was that it was not the world of Robloxia. Wait a dang second, why do I look different? Um, hello? Where am I and who are you? I'm Jeff, who are you? I really don't know. Well, I guess at least I have a new test subject. What? What are you talking about? I'm no test subject. I'm just a regular human being. Not a test subject.
Please sir don't harm me. I have a life and a family of big oily, I mean random people and a red McLaren made by Elon Musk and the Paw Patrols. Might as well turn you into the thing I always dreamed of. What are you talking about? And what is the thing you've always dreamed of? Although my previous Ebola mutation, the Ebola Rex, failed, I shall make you into an all-new Ebola mutation, the Ebola Fish. Ha ha ha! <laughs> Here, let me inject this Ebola acid into you real quick. Don't worry, it totally won't hurt. Joe, now known as the monstrous and disastrous Ebola fish, was teleported back to the world of Robloxia, only to see himself as the monster he never dreamed of becoming. Soon enough, Ebola fish had gone on a rampage on the village of the noobs. Jeff thinks to himself, Now that I injected the mutation virus into him, I shall teleport the My Little Pony Pacific Rim to King Kong Crazerback to where he came from to finish my sinister plan. <laughs> of course I'm back into the middle of nowhere. I should swim up. Wait a minute. I see a Minecraft birchwood raft. Huggy Wuggy, I don't think you're supposed to be here. Aren't you supposed to go and hang out with your girlfriend Kissy Missy to be the true Sigma and riz her up? Nah bruv, she broke up with me exactly 69 days ago because I apparently am trying to riz up catnap. After one day of sailing on the goofy Peppa Pig backrooms raft, Ebola fish made it to shore and went to the bathroom to check if something happened to him since he was feeling very not pro. I feel weird and for some reason my body is green. Yo what the world happened to me? I don't want to be an Ebola fish forever. Why did I listen to that guy and let myself get injected? You know what? I'm going to do what he wanted me to do. I shall kill everyone, avenging and expanding my Ebola mutation specimen. Ah, what is that thing? Jeff it's me your buddy Joe. Help me somebody. Come here stinky rat who can't remember his BFF. Just a little mention before the last part of the story. The first Jeff in the story was from a parallel universe. Whereas this Jeff recently introduced was the Ebola fish's best friend. In other words, he was Joe's friend since a kid. Back to the story, Jeff had been running from the Ebola fish for a while, not knowing that it was actually Joe. Dang it, I lost him. Wait a minute, I'm in the village of the noobs. If I can't be myself, nobody deserves to live. I shall take over this village using my Ebola venom to expand my species. Ebola fish was now on his rampage. He believed nobody deserved their own lives if he didn't get his. He killed noob by noob, eating off their limbs so they regenerated. He even killed the richest of noobs, though they were usually useless for war unless you need money for weapons and other supplies. Zhou, now known as the Ebola Fish Emperor, was soon to raid all of Robloxia with his army of Ebola fishes. Among this time period, he faced many wars. Soon enough, he would face yet the second biggest empire to try to stop on his tracks. This second empire is an empire that too wants power. Stay tuned for the rise of the Ebola part two. If you made it this far in the video, you now have a chance to be in part two of this series. Just type your Roblox username in the comments and I will friend you.